In this first recording, I will briefly be, be explaining why there is so much talk about AI technology today. Right now, there is a lot of people testing ChatGPT and other AI tools to see why there has been such a big stir. Those who are using it are divided, generally speaking, into those who find this technology fascinating and want to learn how to use it, as well as often wanting to teach students how to use it as well. Then there are those who look at this technology with some trepidation and fear for the world it will bring about. Uh, to be clear from the outset, I am one of those who are fascinated by this technology and think we should all start learning how to use it as soon as possible. So if I sometimes express too much enthusiasm for this technology during this lecture, you know why. One thing I would like to say from the outset is that we do not know what this new technology will bring about. I myself am quite frustrated that discussions among colleagues at the university and in media generally have been mainly about how to prevent students from cheating. As we, all, as I, we will go into later on, this technology has made the possibility of cheating available to everyone, as well as making it extremely easy. This means that it will be tempting for students to use this technology when writing papers, making the assessment of student performance difficult. All of this is true. At the same time, this discussion only scratches the surface of the transformation that the whole world is facing. I like to say that right now it feels like the early 1990s and that I've just heard of something called the internet. But the technology is not yet available to me or, any, or many of my friends. And it would be a while before the revolution that we are all facing but had no idea to what extent would really start to take off. When it comes to the adaptation of new technologies, uh, technologies it uh, often looks like a sigmoid curve. And I stole this insight from the great YouTuber named uh, Tom Scott. Anyway, at the beginning, there are quite few users who make use, uh, quite, there are not that many users who make use of the new technology until it suddenly becomes available to many, where the development is extremely fast and then it finally reaches the, the limit to what this technology can do. We are now at the beginning of this radical increase. And what's both exciting and for some frightening is that we don't know what this steep evolutionary goal will bring about. What's in store is that many jobs will have to change or disappear. We may perhaps understand art, literature, text in general, relationships and more in a whole new way. I have two daughters who will grow up with this technology. How will they relate to development they see? Will what I perceive as alien feel normal to them? And if so, what will they accept that I don't necessarily accept myself? These are big questions to which we do not yet have the answers. I am therefore a little bit disappointed that we are only having discussions about how we can have sensible examinations in the future. Of course, this is important, but I believe that we are in we in a few years time will see such radical changes that those discussions will seem trivial in comparison. I could be wrong, but history suggests that a lot will change with the development of this new technology. Something's good, something's bad. In the next recording, I will give some examples of AI technologies that are in use today.